Hey you guys, welcome to this edition of Mike Reed Outdoors. God bless all of you. Thanks for watching. Guys, in this video, I am going to go out here into the forest and show you guys some of the benefits. I try to call us up something to eat here. I know there's deer in here. We can see their tracks right here. But let's see if we can take a predator collar. I always like to carry, guys, and I've said this before, a predator collar. Right there, I've got a cottontail screamer. And you can use this thing in all types of situations, guys, to get you some food. Find out what's in the area and uh, maybe call it in and kill it. So always carry a predator collar with you in your backpack. So if you're in a survival situation, you can get the thing out and use it or just use it during a hunting situation. Looks like we got a roadblock here, you guys. Look at this. I am out here, you guys, in the Jefferson National Forest, that's where I'm at. And uh, I'm up what they call the old uh, lion's den with the Appalachian Trail murderer. Tried to commit a couple more murders here a few years back. Some coyote tracks, you guys. Trying to kill deer going back in that brush right there. If you pay attention to this wildlife and what it's doing, guys, you can sometimes you can find you some food to eat, especially deer and stuff like that. If you're armed and you've got a way to kill a deer, right here's a good way to do it. So I'm going to set up right here and see if I can call anything in right here where this coyote's been watching. So far, guys, I've called the crows up anyway. I guess we need crow today if we want to. They flew over there just a second ago to see what was going on. That's one thing you can shoot and eat. Guys, I ain't seen anything but them crows, but they did get after something right over there, so there, there possibly is something over there that's eating. That's one thing you can do. I've told you before, if you see a bunch of crows, and they're after something on the ground, that's something that you can probably eat for sure. Could be a deer, squirrel, bear, anything, fox, coyote. And I'm going to move on down the road here. I've been here about 30 minutes, so I'm going to move on down the road and see what else we can find. See a whole bunch of birds eating over there, guys. Look at the birds flying through there. One thing I've learned, guys, if there's birds in an area, there's bound to be some squirrels around here because the little old seeds that them birds eat off of these plants, the squirrels will eat them too. So I'm going to go here and see if I can find some tracks. Looks like that thing's going to go, guys. Man, you're talking about a hard part, <laughs> hard fire to start this morning, this one was. I'm going to get me out some food here and cook it up and and uh, see what goes on. I've seen all kind of tracks, but no animals has come into my call as yet. Guys, you can see this right here. I hope you can see this. I've raised this. I put this fire up on a stump this morning. Great old big cypress stump. Like I say, that fire right there was hard to get started. I had to chop a chunk of dry wood off of a stump over there to get some dry wood because everything is soaking wet. Fried Viennies, guys. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Can't beat them. Made me some coffee too, you guys. Man, that stuff sure tastes good. 
Man. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, I'm going to scout on around here today and see how many more tracks I can find. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. I really do. Hope you learned something from them. Get out here this year, guys, and right now is a good time to do it. See what's moseying around through the brush. Looks like there's another snowstorm coming in tomorrow, so I'll probably get out tomorrow and do the same thing, see what's moseying around. Thanks for watching, guys. Have yourself a great day.